Hi again. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller. Behind the camera right there is Robert. Yo. And <laughs> today we're doing another haul video so I can get some more stuff processed and listed because fourth quarter, y'all. Fourth quarter. So before we get started, oh man. I hit the refresh instead of never mind. Just let me be. Yeah, but finish your topic of conversation. Before we get started, what? Let me go ahead and send this 50% off. <laughs> Don't you dare. We'll just go ahead and do a quick commercial down in the the uh, description of our videos. There are lots of links to different places. If you choose to go do some shopping and click on one of those links, we get um, a small percentage um, for the next 24 hours. We don't we make much. It's a little tiny percentage. We make... 30 bucks on Amazon every month or whatever yeah, and 20 bucks mm -hmm. on eBay. It, it's not a lot, but we do, those of you that do go use those links and buy whatever it is you're going to buy, not even those things, go buy somebody's birthday present. We make a little little bit of commission off of that. It doesn't cost you more and we really appreciate yep. when y'all do that. Yep. And the free thing to do is click the thumbs up, make a comment, even if it's an emoji. Heckle Reckle. Heck, heckle Reckle. Yeah. Heckle Rebel about the way she talks. Yeah. All right, here's another $3.99 bag from the red, white, and blue. Let's see what caught my attention in this one. The butthole? Is that what it looks like to you? Don't know. Um, oh, I think right here, look. I think that's a jelly cat. Pretty sure without, yeah, it says jelly cat. I see a woodstock. Um... Something that says knit and crochet. I don't know. Just some interesting stuff. So we'll see what's all in here. But I'm going to go ahead. Open it up here in the center. Alright. This is Aurora something peach. Oh yeah, right here. Tasty peach. I picked something up that was like this before and it wasn't very no not high dollar or anything but if it is still listed then that's what I'll do I'll add that to that listing probably not something that needs to be you know on the lookout for how about that this is tea turtle Ooh, just say no to tea turtle I think that's the one that does the octopus that everybody gets their listings taken down for so just say no. That just needs to go right on in the trash. Oh, it's the same kind of thing. It's Yeah, same idea. This looks more like decoration, but it is plushy. Um, I'll probably put it in my donate bag. Robert's got a donate bag sitting there. Now, in my last video, I had another Groot. So I may, I, it's still, we're literally making two videos today. So he's still back there behind the camera. I may just go ahead and make a lot of these two. So, that's a good thing. All right. Oh, webcans. Pretty much, I don't bother with them anymore. If I've got some dogs listed, I may take that listing down and add him to it. Just, you know, I've got it. I might as well do something with it. This is Wildlife Artists. It has... I don't know a date. I don't think this one. Maybe 2021. What is it? A prairie dog? Probably not worth a whole lot. Bread and butter. Yeah, this is just going to go in the donate. All right, what are you? Oh, this is one of those wrist huggers. It's a wolf, you know. It might actually have some value as you know bread and butter but I'm pretty sure I listed something else that was like this recently so I may just add that to the same listing all right this has the pink justice tag on there I don't know what it is though I'll google lens it but more than likely it's gonna go in the donate I'm gonna guess hardaroni pizza hmm I don't know well, he's interesting. Look, a dog. Oh, he's Thai. Y'all, these Thai buddies, check 
comps, especially for your dogs and cats, because some of them are worth quite a bit, being like $20, $25. So just because they're tied doesn't mean they're not worth checking. He's in really good condition. I'm hoping, let's say 15 to 20 for him. Still haven't gotten to any of the... All right. It says Sugar Factory. Almost makes me think maybe it's like a mall thing. Pennington Bears. Just kind of seems like it's an advertising type plush. I'll look it up. But pretty much I'm trying to say just say no to bears. And, you know, I've talked about this before. Robert does a lot of my shipping now. So I don't always see all the things that he's pulling. But I go every day to put stuff away that I have been, you know, processing to get ready to list. And a lot of my bear baskets are getting lower and lower because I keep everything segregated. You know, all the bears are together, all the wild animals, all the farm animals. Um, and a lot of them are starting to go down a little. So that's a good thing. This is intriguing. It says baby gear. Anytime I have baby plush, I'm going to definitely check comps because, you know, it's just one of those things, you know, this could be a lost lovey for somebody. Um, very interesting. You know, I'm hoping about $15 or so for it. All right, here, let's pull out the jelly cat. It's a bashful bunny blue so maybe there's hope i've had a white one recently again a lot of them are just maybe right over bread and butter for me but maybe a blue one will do a little bit better but yay that's the reason why i grabbed this bag almost a lot of the bags that i looked at had jelly cat in them i think this pizza mm -hmm. is a bed for a stuffed animal that's what i was thinking it looked like so like a bed a, a pet bed for plush. Or a really small dog. Yeah, maybe a toy. There's one listed for $10. Oh. But none sold. No solds. Yeah, I don't think so. But there was one on Worth Point, so it... I'll have to go look then, yeah. This is cute. Little fleece heart pillow. With some little buttons that make it look like flowers. Don't know, no tags. Look. Squeaky, squeaky. Has this paper tag. It's by Fetch. Woodstock with an Easter egg. Probably going to be bread and butter. I like peanuts. All right. Lots of littles. Well, you know what's funny? This is Douglas. And I just processed a goat. I think that was about this size. So I may go ahead and I don't even, I listed it this morning. Dang it, I'll take it down and probably add this also because it was going to be like eight bucks. So I think I'll just do that with that. All right, so we talked about having like this with a bigger horse, right? Yeah, so they go together, the Auroras. Like, like a mom and a baby or whatever. Mm -hmm. Now, what about like having a goat, a horse, a pig, and a cow? And a, so you could have like your whole farmyard. If I had, if I had them, I would, but they got to be the same size. Look, here's another pumpkin. Now I've got a set of two. This is peekaboo. I don't know. I'll have to Google lens, but it just looks really, really chintzy, like it came out of a claw machine. A chintzy claw machine. Mm-hmm. This too. Not even going to bother. It's got condition <laughs> issues. This is Squishmallow. I'll Google Lens it, but if it comes up like a million listed, I probably won't list it. These are those, I forget. They smell. They're smellies, but I, I don't think they're worth keeping. I forget what they're called. Cutitos, that's it. Cutitos. But it's all about the jelly cat in this package. All right, this says, oh. This is Eden Toys. Right there's the little tag. That's intriguing. It's probably going to be bread and butter, but I'm going to keep it and list it because I like Eden. Oh, this was the knit and crochet. I don't know what it is. Don't know. 
It almost looks like one of those troll puffy things. I don't know. Oh, it says Arabian Spice. What in the world? Large faux fur palm. Oh, it's pom pom. Don't know. To me, that probably means it's only worth a couple bucks. All right, a whole lot of stuff that looks like it's going to get donated. This, not even worth the effort. Batot, it's a unicorn. No. Ty, no. What's funny is in another bag I showed recently, I think I've got a white one like this. But it's bears, probably no. And then these. These hanging monkeys do not do well. Um, just bread and butter for the most part, and they take forever. This one's K&M. Probably not. If I've got another one listed, maybe I'll pair them up. But I'm trying not to do some of this stuff that I know from experience. They just do not um, sell quickly. Hold on. The what? pizza. The pizza. The pizza. I'm seeing results on... I installed the uh, WorthPoint app because I got tired of logging in on the website, so I installed the app. And I'm seeing sold for it with the dog, 17. These are without. 17, 17. But how old? 15, 13, 2018, 2020, 2020, no. 2020, 2019. Maybe it's worth 12. 12, 12.50, 12.50. Well, those are. The, these are the same. It's like it sold multiple times. So. Hmm. I, th I well, think you can probably get bread and butter. Bread and butter. I've got a few more things here to share with you. Some of it was more single bags from the red, white, and blue. But we got to Connecticut um, on a Friday. And that's when we hit the bins and stuff. And uh, red, white, and blue. And then Saturday, we met up with my friend Courtney. And we went to yard sales and estate sales and a few thrift stores. Um, so some of this is from that also. So I'm going to show you this. Kermit, you guys know, I love Kermit. He's got some issues. I'm going to have to use a sweater thing to the felt. And he needs a bath. But, you know, he's large. He looks more like maybe Nanco. But I'm still hoping like maybe 15 plus dollars for him. The good thing about him is look at his eyes. A lot of times that paint, the black stuff, is just worn off. And I'm not seeing that on this. And look how cute. Ty Cuddlies. His name is Floyd. For some reason this is like making me think he might be something to keep your eyes out for. Not quite sure. I'll have a comp up for you guys when I'm doing this, make, getting this video ready. Pretty sure I remember picking this up at the bins in Connecticut. Oh, it needs a bath desperately. It is BJ from Barney. Um, I, I'm thinking maybe 12 to $15 for him. But like I said, he needs a good bath. I only looked at this unicorn. It's a craft toy. Oh, is it? Oh, it's it not even finished. Little, you have, have all these little yeah little spots to put i guess they were putting like little bits of cloth or something on there mm -hmm. to decorate your unicorn the way you wanted this is walmart 2023 it was probably a ben's pickup so i don't have hardly anything in it and i'm hoping like 10 to 15 dollars for it I know I said just like, you know, two bears, but look how cute he is. And look at that nose. He's got a cute little outfit on. And he is, his tag's been cut. But he's North American Bear Company, Mr. Something. I don't know. I'm hoping 15 to 20 for him. Now these next three, we stopped at an estate sale. The prices were kind of up there for a lot of things. And then I, when I was checking out, there were no prices on these. When I was checking out, they said a dollar each. So but look how cute these are. They are all the brand Nookies, N-O-U-K-I-E-S. And I, 
I looked them up, I think, on Worth Point. And I, I want to say maybe 25 plus, but I want to say it was higher than that. I'm probably going to list each one of them separate unless it's, you know, I can list them for a lot because I have a set of three. And we'll have to just see what the comps say, but aren't they absolutely adorable? I've never seen these. Look, that one has a baby. They just look quality. Is that that little brick house that where we went all throughout the house and mm -hmm. upstairs? They had a lot of toys, but they were overpriced. Overpriced, except for those. And then the tools. I went out and... You did pick up some uh, tools. Our neighbor, our old neighbor, borrowed some hand tools, like rakes and shovels and stuff. I'm missing some of them now because he never brought them back and then moved and apparently took them with him or something. So they had a, a garden right there. That I don't use a lot, but when you need a garden rake, you need a garden rake. And... I said, how much for the hand tools? One dollar. One dollar. And then yep. the wrenches and stuff were a quarter each. So I went over and got a bunch of different wrenches and things like that. They were really good prices on those. Yeah, I think they're all laying over there on the floor. I've had this a few times. I'm pretty sure it's bread and butter, but it is folk manis. Let's see what. It's a puppet. Just White Mouse is his name. Now he needs a bath. I picked up more of these but they're mixed in with other stuff. All of these Pokemons, these were from the red, white, and blue also. They were $1.99 each. But I picked up a bunch of them, and I thought they seem to be similar sizes. The tags seem similar. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do lots or if I'll list them individually. But for the most part, Pokemons, for me, um, have been bread and butter. But with fourth quarter coming, I thought, you know, somebody might want to buy something to fill in a collection. So I grabbed as many as I could find. Look how cute, y'all. Look at the tag. Bunnies by the Bay. I've never found a chicken. One of them before. Got the little knotted legs. I just loved it. No idea on value. But I'm hoping $15 plus dollars for it. Really nice condition. I, think I picked this up at an estate sale or yard sale recently. Anytime I find pretty much anything Ikea that's cheap, I think I paid yep, $1 for it. I go ahead and grab it. All the information you need is on here. And a lot of times, you know, I can get $10 plus dollars for them. Loved this. It says Mulan, Mulan Rhodey. I don't find that brand a whole lot anymore. Oh, look how cute. A little mouse. I don't know. My gut says, let's see, 12 plus for him. Maybe even more. And look at this one. Look, $1.99. I'm going to take him out of the bag. And the thing about the red, white, and blue, if you ever decide you're going to go to the one, especially in Waterbury, Connecticut, it's cash only. Cash only. But look, a Douglas. One of these days, I'm hoping I'm going to find one of the high dollar Douglases, but so far, not yet. Um, this one, I, I want to say I looked up its name. There's a number on one of the tags that usually can point you in the right direction. That's what the tag looks like, and it's item number 2030. I, at one point, I looked him up. Um, I don't know. I'm hoping like 40 plus for him. But I could be wrong. I look up a lot of stuff. Guess where this is going? Right down there. I've got all kinds of room now to hang up stuff. So I'm going to add this to my wall. I don't even remember. I'm pretty sure it was Ben's pickup. And it's got some issues, which I don't mind for my collection. But very cool. And then, oh, here's another one of the Pokemons. So now I've got a set of three. And a couple more little ones here. Lots of small bags. I'm pretty sure this would have been a Ben's pickup. But it says Bonica. I want to say I found something else recently with that name. B-O-N-I-K-K-A. 
It's like, I don't know. I'm hoping she's got a little bit of like wear to her hair, but I'm thinking I might try a, sh a shredder, a shredder, a sweater brush. Try to get a little bit of that off. If not, I'd just take a minute and use scissors. Not quite sure. Hopefully maybe $12 or so for her. And then I grabbed him because I know I have the elephant in this series. It's Cole's Cares. I'm trying to make some small lots up of um, some of the Cole's Cares plush that I have and any that I find. So that's for that. And then last bag. I paid $1.99. Let's see what the treasure was in here. Maybe both baby stuff it seems all right this one is looks like walmart no decker's decker's brand japan well that's intriguing don't know look how cute i know it's a bear but it was in a bag because i'm pretty sure this is why i bought it but intriguing so we'll say to no see. to bears unless they're in a bag no, he, I had to get him anyway, but I've never had Decker's Japan. Hmm. But this is why I bought that bag. $1.99. It is Jeffrey. Oh. Oh, koala baby. So Toys R Us, a dog, a rattle, a lovey, all the things I love. So, I, you know, I'm hoping 15 plus for him. Are you done? Are you trying to look him up? I tried to look him up. No. I didn't find anything. All right. eBay changed my uh, my filters and stuff on the, on the eBay app. The app has changed again, y'all. Just, you know, I think it goes out in phases. Some of you guys may have already had your app changed, but it's annoying when they change it. So... It didn't change how you change set the filters, but there you can see them kind of across the top. And then when you click on it, yeah, I go to the same of that old little screen. button at the top that you could just click and scroll down. Now there's like four or five buttons, and they all take seem to take you to the same place, which is all right. I've got my, I have my. It doesn't matter. I'll shut up. All right, y'all. Hope you guys enjoyed looking at all my little treasures. Get to work. Bye.